Do this for you. all the naysayers and haters who made me one of the greatest. I know it kills you inside, that's why I do this for you. I do this for my father, who I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. Welcome back, boys. Pepperonis here with another 2K video for you guys, all right? All right, guys, this is going to be a little bit different than normal. This is a video on what 2K can do to fix their game, all right? How can we make 2K19 good, all right? All right, so here's the problems with 2K. The first off, 2K in general is a pay-to-win game, all right? A game that you spend real money to buy virtual currency that allows you to have an advantage over players that don't spend money is pay to win, all right? 2K starts you off as a 60 overall character that can't shoot, can't dribble, can't play defense, and can't barely even dunk. If you spend $50, you can be a 86 or 87, whatever it is, overall, that can shoot, dribble, dunk, and play defense. Recently, there was a game that came out named Star Wars Battlefront 2. It received so much flack on Reddit. If you don't know what Reddit is, Reddit is the front page of the internet, like the front page of the newspaper in your hometown, but it's online, all right? Well, this game was pay to win during the beta. People realized it and started complaining. How could a game be pay to win at this day and age? I mean, like, like, come on now. YouTubers, vloggers, streamers, and every person who even thought about Star Wars Battlefront 2 was in outrage. With all the negativity on Reddit towards Star Wars Battlefront 2, the fans were able to make Star Wars Battlefront 2 change their business model from pay to win. They changed the model where the first two weeks the game came out, all the loot boxes, all the viable items were taken out of the game to allow everyone a fair start at the beginning of the game where it wasn't the size of your wallet that determined if you won the game but your skills. If 2K implemented, implemented this, everyone would be on equal grounds when 2K starts, allowing grinders to grind and losers to lose, and no one could complain. This 2K community deserves more. And I'm here to say enough is enough, all right? We're tired of this. No more pay to win. I'm asking everyone to share this video. Tell your friends, all vloggers, all YouTubers, to get on Reddit and complain. Let's make 2K great again. Laugh out loud, all right, guys? I'm just, I'm just messing around, all right? All right, no more 2K great again. But we do need to complain on Reddit, guys, all right? But honestly, it's up to us. So let's make a change. And from the immortal words of the great Obama, yes, we can. Second, there needs to be a ranked park. Most people I know hate Pro-Am. The reasons are too many to say, but the majority say it's too many people on the court and it's crowded. And they just really just prefer 2v2s and 3v3s. They like that type of gameplay. There's a simple solution to this. Just like you get on your phone on 2K18 for stuff like <clears throat> the 2K Combine, there should be an option for ranked park mode. Where it isn't open world, you just go into a queue for a game, a 1v1, 2v2, or 3v3, with your friends or with randoms. Just like League of Legends, where one person goes in as, as an ADC and another as a jungle, the same should apply to ranked parks. You should be able to queue as a center or queue as a point guard because we all know playing a comp game without a center is pretty much a death sentence. I mean, come on. You're basically getting a, giving a W up. There should also be a ranking system just like there is in League of Legends, i.e. bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond. This isn't something that's hard to do. Coding something like this would, would take no time at all. Okay, third, since there will be a there will be ranked parks, the sliders in the normal park should be adjusted where slashers catch bodies like crazy. Post scores can't be stripped when hold to LT. Sharks should be pretty much unstoppable. Playmakers should be breaking more ankles. And brick walls should be killing people. But the very opposite should be applied to ranked parks. No more contested shots going in. No more ankle breakers just because the playmaker can move his right stick back and forth and so on. No more contested layups unless you're a slasher. Fourth, no more dual archetypes, okay? This system makes absolutely no sense. So if you're a playmaker, and you can dribble the ball, but you can't shoot, okay? But if you make a sharpshooter, you can shoot the ball, but you can't dribble. 
okay? But if I make a sharpshooter playmaker, I can dribble and I can shoot, okay? I mean, come on. I shouldn't have to say anything else. That's just ridiculous. So you basically give us dual archetypes, but then you take other archetypes out because there's no reason to make one of them, all right? There's no reason to make a pure pretty much anything, all right? Fifth, you take the Grand Theft Auto model, but you really didn't. You lied to us. Grand Theft Auto has been out for almost five years. They don't make a new game every year. They make the one game they have out better. They update it. They bring out DLCs. They bring out expansions. They fix the issues that keep bothering people so people can stay entertained. But 2K makes an incomplete game every year and never give the player base what they want. Just think if 2K didn't come out with 2K19, but instead added additional playgrounds and added uh, ranked park matches, fixed the issues with the game now, added more park events, they brought back the Jordy Rex Center, and they changed the idiotic overall system they have in 2K18 place right now, all right? And just charge money for the expansions, or like GTA files it, DLCs. Then 2K would be awesome. I feel like... There's no communication between the developers or to, and the 2K players base. What is a community manager for if 2K never gives us what we want? We are the player base. We spend our money. Give us what we want. Or maybe we should just go play another game that listens to their player base. And the community managers actually do something. Instead of just being paid for holding the title as community manager. I mean, really? What, what are they doing? I mean... We tell them what we want all the time. They don't listen, okay? Uh, the, we complain all the time. They don't listen. All they do is change the sliders on shooting, okay? Come on, man, all right? I'm asking everybody right now, get on Reddit. Talk to everybody you know. You, you, hit YouTubers up. Hit vloggers up. Hit everybody up, man. It's time to change 2K right now. This is out of control, okay? 2K, all they worried about is making money, but they not worried about giving us the content in the game that we want, okay? There's a reason why streamers, they play 2K18 and they get low views, and then they play 2K17 and they get higher views on 17 than 18. It's not because 17 is that much better than 18. It's because people are just so fed up and tired with 2K, okay? Okay, and they tired of this whole 18 thing, okay? You know, you need to fix your game. There's no reason why this late into the game, you could be a post scorer and do a post me move and the whole game just glitches out, okay? What is that all about? You get sent back to the start screen, okay? There's no reason why you should be able to set screens inside of the paint and so people, they can't hold defense on you. Why haven't they changed this? Why is it why is it possible to literally just run into people and then all of a sudden you just get right by them? What is this all about? Okay? We need change and we need it now, guys, all right? I'm sorry about this rant, but I'm just sick and tired of 2K and all they BS, all right? All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right now. So if you haven't followed me on Twitter yet, guys, please follow me. I'm giving away three $25 gift cards on Twitter pretty darn soon, guys. All right, as soon as I get to 100 followers on Twitter, guys. I appreciate all 50, almost 1,500 of my followers on Mixer, guys. I love all you, all my subs on YouTube, guys, and all my Patreon supporters. Thank you very much, guys. All right, pepperonis out. Peace, love, and hair grease.